Makes me want to check out American Fork Dog Park. Huh? Yeah. This way. Good girl. Loose. Come on, Pixie. Pixie, look out. Back up. Pixie, come. He's okay now. She likes to play. No, no, she's good. She's she's gonna be big herself. She's a puppy right now. She's only 14 or 15 months. Her mom weighs 180 pounds, so she's got some growing to do. How much does your dog weigh? 120. Yeah. Caucasian of Charka. Yeah. Thanks. He uses uh, livestock guardian dogs in the Caucasus Mountains area, like Georgia and the surrounding countries. Say again. Okay. Oh, nice, nice mix. Yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna get him. Off. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> 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 Off. <laughs> no, you can play. Don't hump. No humping. Hey, get off. She's not in heat, but she is in tax, so that's probably why it likes her. Get off. Pixie, don't let her mount you. <laughs> don't let him mount you, I mean. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. She's scared of like all dogs, but goes for the biggest one. <laughs> well, my dog's got a good energy or whatever because she's good at getting dogs to play with her that don't usually play. What kind is yours? She's a mini Aussie. Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know they had mini Aussies. Yeah, she's like mixed with a mini poodle. Oh, okay. Is it like an intentional crossbreed or is it an actual like breed or is it just those two dogs had a baby? Okay. <laughs> we just saw her online and it's like, yeah, sure. Makes sense. You live here in these apartments? No, I live over by the Target. Okay, I live down in Spanish Fork. Oh, nice. But I do a, a, a YouTube channel for my dog, oh, so I try to go to different parks and stuff. And I was up in the West Valley, yeah. um, so I went up to a lot of parks up in that area. But now that I'm down south, I went I went by Orem City Orem Dog Park, right up, like at the bottom of the canyon. Mm -hmm. But there's like no no like no dogs there at all. There's a hiking trail there. It seems like based on how much dog poop was there, there's just a lot of like people just go there to let their dog kind of have a big yard to run around in, kind of like they don't clean up after their dog. They just kind of let them run loose and yeah. do their thing. It could have been just the time of day too, but I, I, I just barely went there before here, but. 
obviously this place because it's in the middle of this yeah. whatever this is condos or whatever they're uh, <laughs> a bit busier yeah that's what I thought that's why I brought her here because we normally go to like a big field by our house but there's like no dogs there and when they are there none of them want to play like their owners don't want them to like play with it. I don't know yeah I don't get that either like I mean that one started humping my dog so that's when I stopped him <laughs> But dogs play like they yeah. they do dominance. They jump on each other. They you know they'll nip their legs and put their head or their head over your dog's neck and all that yeah. all that play stuff. It's like kids playing with each other. They play rough, you know. Like totally. they're wild animals that we've domesticated, so they're gonna get a little crazy, you know. Yeah, and she can't do much damage. <laughs> so what's your name? I'm Michelle. Michelle Drew. Nice to meet you. you too. Thanks. What's your dog's name? Her name is Pixie. Pixie. That's yeah. If you want to scan this QR code in this little permanent yeah, card here you can follow her on youtube what a fun idea that's her at five months by the way oh <laughs> that's her at like six months <laughs> right yeah she weighed 50 pounds then so that's crazy see she was supposed to get to be like 20 pounds but she's six months and she's been like consistently at nine for like three months uh-huh so i don't know if she's gonna get much bigger than that yeah oh that's weird <laughs> How fun! Yeah. I love that idea. Are you single by any chance? No, I'm not. Darn, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Let me ask you for your number. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting Have you. Have a great day. Didn't think you would be, but. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Maya's not aggressive. She just likes she thinks we're playing. Mine's the fluffy one there. Oh, he likes to challenge him to race. Oh, gotcha. Let, Let him off leash and he'll go up and down the fence. Yeah. <laughs> right? Or one of those like wire fake rabbits on a wire or something? Pixie? Pixie? Yeah, I saw the breeder named her and I thought it fit, so like it. that's gonna be funny when she's another 100 pounds bigger and Pixie. and her, and you call Pixie and this giant dog comes running, right? The irony. How are you doing? How's it going, buddy? Good, I thanks. Like your, little, uh, your little GoPro there. Thanks, it's just, my, cool. it's just my phone and it's, uh, my I got a YouTube channel for my dog, so uh, okay. I just bought the cool, harness man. for the, my phone on Online, I was gonna get looking at GoPros and all those other options, and I'm like, Does he have a camera on him too? No, she doesn't. No, okay, which one is yours? The big, fluffy Caucasian of Charco. This one right here, yep, okay. the one running faster. What kind of uh, what kind of dog you say is it's Caucasian of Charco? You might have heard of a Russian bear dog, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. that's it. The ones they use in Russian prisons, yeah. They used to use them as livestock guardian dogs before yeah. that, but I didn't know if it was a St. Bernard German Shepherd mix or what it was. But... Yeah, a lot of people think it's some kind of mix or that uh, yeah. an Akita or something, but she's not full grown, she's only really about 15 months. No, shit. So her mom weighs 180 and her dad weighs 200. Holy smokes. And that one she was trying to hump her earlier and was back at it. <laughs> she is intact, but she's not in heat right now. Right, so. right. Pixie, don't let her help you. Or him. <laughs> I don't mind the dominance play, but I don't want the humping happening. <laughs> Have a good day.
The sub that one's yours? No, my golden is yours, that one. Which one? Golden is yours. Oh, the golden retriever, cool. Yeah. They're great dogs. Yeah, I always want to play. Yeah, they're easily, they're good, they're good, uh, you can train them easily though. I remember my dad's girlfriend had one when I was growing up and uh, it already knew how to sit and fetch, but I would teach it without any voice commands, just hand command to sit at my side, throw the ball, they would sit there and wait, and then if I pointed, it would run and get it and come back. They're, they're smart dogs. Some of them are, there's that whole thing about like, some dogs are easily trainable um, and they're smart, but some are like, you know, there's like a thing where just because they're smart doesn't mean they're easily trainable because they might be more independent. Uh -huh. So it's, it's, you get different mixes like that with different dogs on, on their personalities and how they can be trained and stuff like that based on whether they're more of an independent yeah. slash stubborn and how smart they are too. Uh, it's, a very, it's very tough for me to trick them, my dog. He's very smart. Uh -huh. So without any treat, he don't listen to any command. So he just look at the hand. If he has any treat, only then he listen. Oh. Yeah, mine, when she was a puppy, she was more treat motivated, but now yeah. she could care less. Especially in public, like I, I need to do more training with her. I'm not at all consistent with that, but um, they're they're an independent breed anyway. They're used in the Caucasus Mountains area in the country Georgia, uh -huh. to guard sheep from wolves and bears. So they're just using used to being basically doing their job on their own without much human and you know guidance. And so they're very independent. So it's kind of hard to get them, to, uh, you know, trained and listen to you and stuff. Like basics, like we call. I need to work on that one. That was a huge one just for their own uh -huh. safety and stuff. You know, so. My, uh, my wish is without any leash, he has to follow me. So in order to train that, uh, so I need to figure a way. So how, I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Uh -huh. uh, but he's very playful. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> he asked me to come and play. Even if I was uh, more into my walk, he'll just bite me and come to play. <laughs> see how it is. Yeah, I've heard that you don't want to do that. If they're the ones initiating the like the play or the attention, you don't want to uh, give in because then you know they're acting like they're the alpha or they're your boss uh, instead of the other way around. Uh, like you should call them when you want to give them affection. Don't give it to them when they're asking for it. So just what I've heard. Mm -hmm. So I try to do that. He wants to. Mine, mine wants to play those little ones over there. <laughs> <laughs> you want to join the party? You want to join the party? <laughs> yeah. That little, that Siberian husky is fast. Oh. Yeah, it's hard. In the winter, is not, you know, it's not as nice. The weather isn't as nice as often, so uh -huh. it's kind of hard to get them out for places like this. Uh, who's, uh, dog is uh, okay. This guy is it Husky yours or yours or both yours? No, you're both yours. Okay, cool. <laughs> Pixie, what she got? Oh, just your tongue hanging out. I thought you picked up something off the ground. Come say hi. Come here. What's your dog's name, Michelle? Lulu. Lulu. Lulu, come. She's got a friend over there now, huh? <laughs> Busy covering up scent over there, huh? Lulu, come. Come here. Lulu. Hi. <laughs> right? A lot going on. New dog. New person. How old is yours again? You said that before, right? Okay. Lulu. Come here. I <laughs> know. <laughs> you come here very often? Uh, yeah, I come uh, since I 
this is the winter. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not coming, but I occasionally can come. But anyhow, this is the only place I can come. Is it pretty busy usually? Yes. Yeah. So in, uh, maybe I never seen you before here. No, I live in Spanish Fork. Oh, okay. So I, I have a dog. I have a YouTube channel for my dog. And so I try to expand out to different dog parks instead of going to the same park all the time and, you know, have new experiences with new dogs and at different places. So it makes it more interesting for the YouTube channel. So, so what is your YouTube channel? It's just, it's for my dog. It's sure name is Pixie the Caucasian of Charka. If you want to follow her on YouTube, you can scan yeah, this QR code here. Yeah, my kids want to watch a YouTube, I mean, kids, I mean, dog uh, YouTube channel. Yeah, if you want to scan that with your camera, <laughs> it'll, you can follow her on YouTube. Yeah, I heard that's the number one profession that uh, kids growing up nowadays want to do is they want to be a YouTube influencer or YouTube, you know, celebrity or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> you trying to say hi now, Pixie, huh? Both the big dogs are over here by you, Michelle. Lulu! There they go. You're only interested in this, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh, it's a ball? Yeah. She's pretty fast for a little thing. Is this palm raining in yours too? Yep. Right on. <laughs> I'm about to tuck it up, see? Huh? Had a good amount of exercise at Orem Dog Park before we came here, but there's no dogs to play with there, huh? Hi. <laughs> Bye, Michelle. Have a great night. Ready to go?
Come on. Have a great night, guys. Thank you. Oh, you. Uh, you can scan the QR code on my on this card here if you want to follow her. She must be really popular. She's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, her name is Pixie. Oh, her, yeah. Pixie? Pixie? Yeah, like a fairy. Yeah, that's the breeder named her, and I kept it. Yeah, I think I got it. You got it? Cool, awesome. Yeah, if you could subscribe, it'd be awesome. Heck yeah, man. Pixie, you said her name is? Yeah. That's awesome. How much bigger will she get? Uh, her mom weighs 180 pounds, and she's under 100 right now. Oh, that's her at five months. Oh, baby, look at look at her as a pup. That is so cute. That's her at five months, about oh, nine months ago. Ten months what, ago. what breed did you say she was again? Caucasian of Charka. Caucasian or Charka? Yeah, it's also known as the Russian bre uh, Bear Dogs. Yeah, that's yeah, how you spell yeah. it. Okay. That's awesome. Yeah, they, they call it the Caucasian. The, the, the UKC is the Caucasian of Charka, with the AKC it's the Caucasian Shepherd. Yeah. So that's what uh, uh, Charka means is Russian for shepherd or sheepdog. So. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Do they still use them? Yeah. In Russia? Yeah. And, oh, they, they originally were from the from like Georgia and the surrounding countries, like what it was part of the USSR. Right. As, as livestock guardian dogs, keeping wolves and bears away from sheep. Okay. And then the Russians used them as right. prison dogs and guard right. dogs and stuff. So. Are they a good companion dog too? Yeah, I mean they're not they're they're kind of independent, so they're not like like a like cuddly and they right. always want to be around right, you. Right, right, you know, right. kind of a you know, well, okay. weren't independent because that's what they're used to doing, being up in the mountains, yeah. doing their job, keeping yeah. the sheep safe, hanging out with the sheep. They're not really like. She seems like a badass. Yeah, she is. Thanks. Really, <laughs> yeah, straight up. As soon as we walked in here, I was like, "Ooh, look at that! <laughs> She's beautiful." Yeah. Well, have a good day. You too. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna play these new friends for a minute? Thunder. <laughs> she's like, but she's like, but there's so many smells, or he, there's so many smells between here and there. Pixie, come. Give him some space, Pixie. Come here. Pixie, come. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. What kind of thunder? What kind I of dog? Him, so I don't know for sure. Any ideas? We think it's a collie pit bull. Okay, that's but, a neat mix. Yeah. My old roommate had a pit lab mix, so. There's a lot of lab mixes, it seems like, because they're a really popular dog, so. Yeah. Because he definitely has, like, more of the pit bull build, but he's fluffy. Okay. So I'm like, <laughs> there's something fluffy. What do you mean by the, I mean, he's not as wide as some pit bulls, but, I mean, yeah. he's probably wider than a collie is, right? Oh, yeah. And he's got, like, the square jaw. Oh, more of the head and, and the shoulders. Has, like, the broad shoulders gotcha. kind of build. But. How you doing? Yeah, this is mine here. Her name is Pixie. She's a Caucasian of Charka. Right here? Yeah, this fluffy one. She's beautiful. Thanks. Are these Uh, not just that one. The golden retriever is the guy right behind you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that one's a straight black lab, right? This one, yeah. Yeah. His name is Bruce. Is what? Bruce. Bruce, right on. My left ear is clogged right now, so I can't hear too well. Oh, no, it's fine. What did you say your dog was? Caucasian of Charka. Of Charka is Russian for shepherd or sheepdog. It's also known as the Russian bear dog. Oh. So they were used as livestock guardian dogs originally in the Caucasus Mountains area, which is part of the USSR, oh, okay. to keep lives, uh, wolves and bears away from sheep. Oh, wow. And then the Russians used them as guard dogs and prison dogs. So, okay. yeah. Okay. She's only a puppy. Yeah, they're they're just really independent, um, uh, and they're got a protective nature. When they hit, a, they get hit full maturity at about two or three years old, they kind of hit a switch, and they're more territorial and can be more aggressive. Uh, but I'm just doing my best to socialize her now. Okay. She loves people and dogs right now, so hopefully she'll at least keep some of that <laughs> when she hits the maturity. Yeah.
So she's still pretty young then? Yeah, she's uh, 15 months. Oh, okay. Well, let's now see. Bruce is, um, oh, let's see. It is almost February. So he's 20 months. Now she's, she's, oh, I was way off. She's almost 17 months. Oh, okay. She was born in August, so September, August. Yeah, she's 17 months. Bruce was born in um, June. Oh, okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I rescued Thunder, so we don't know for sure. But oh. our guess was he turned two in December, so. Oh, okay. Don't they base it off, like, the teeth or something? They can yeah, tell by the teeth. teeth in the paws. <laughs> on the paws, too? Yeah, and you can tell by mine. She's still growing into her into her paws. Yeah, they usually have big paws and oh. smaller teeth when they're little. Oh, wow, Bruce, you got a lot of slava going. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> All over the face, huh? But now he's maybe done, huh? Ready to go home? Uh-uh, off. No. Like I was saying, I, I'm not good at it, but it takes, you got to be consistent with it, you know, the training. Wow, look at that thing. Get him, Thunder. Get him. Oh, I'm not going to save you. Go. <laughs> I'm not going to save you. <laughs> it's interesting how some dogs just like people, you know, they like playing with certain other dogs or certain certain some dogs like playing with certain other dogs and some they don't, you know. Like mine's really good. She kind of has like a playful like uh, way of playing, but not like up in their face, like too assertive or whatever. So she can usually get dogs and that want to don't want to play to play with her just because she's playful like that. You are all good. Thunder can get loud too, but he's he's all sweet. <laughs> Thunder, hey. <laughs> Thunder boy, you gotta go through the gate. <laughs> this <Okay>. way. <laughs> That's good, yeah. Thunder's Thunder spot dogs kind of play before, but at the same time, they have to be willing. <laughs> <laughs> How much does yours weigh? Uh, 19 pounds. Okay. That's cool that you're wanting to socialize. Even though they have the separate area, it's cool that you're bringing her over here so that, or him over here so that he can get socialized. Yeah, and I want him to learn how to be okay with big dogs. Yeah. Like and she's super friendly. She won't. What's her name? Pixie. And what was your dog's name? My dog is Ralphie. Ralphie? Cool. And what kind? A miniature golden beetle. Miniature what? Golden beetle. Okay. <laughs> He'll let him know if he doesn't want to play, huh? Good job. Set boundaries there. Oh, yep. I have one. Have a good day. Ha <laughs> ha.
<laughs> My daughter doesn't play fetch, but she just played chase, so it works out. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Usually, you let them smell you first, but she's she's good. Yeah, they're pretty rare. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, she's all about the treats. Oh, yeah. You got a good nose. <laughs> it's in this bucket. I usually keep it in here. That's probably better out of reach, right? But it also takes more time to get to, I guess, if you don't have it unzipped. So. Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Goodness. A little bit of drool, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hi. What, um, what was her name? Pixie. Very different. Yeah, they're cropped. They were used as livestock guardian dogs. They had to keep wolves and bears away from sheep. Okay. So, and I want to have my own place someday to with livestock. So, um, that way, if they get into a fight with a wolf, they don't get their ears tore up. Oh, okay. so it's like a safety thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Good thing you backed up. She just did a big old slobber <laughs> slobbers. Well, she got on her nose like yours had it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's been here for a minute and she's been going active. The other dogs that were here were pretty, you know, wanted to play and run. So she's been running. And we stopped by Orm Park, um, Orm Dog Park at the bottom of the canyon over there on the way here. But there was no one there. We were there for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And it's like, oh, let's go check out American Fork Dog Park and see the people over there. Into this one and the one at the dive, dive park. I'm not sure. I just moved down in the area. I was up in West Valley City. Oh, okay. So I've been to a more other ones like uh, up in Salt Lake County, but I just moved to Spanish Fork a week or so ago. Oh, okay. So um, I've been checking out the one that's down in this area. Yeah, I really like this one. The, the dive park one is, is really nice. It's just, um, it's very, very large and there's like walking paths. Oh, uh, okay. You know, I don't know. We only went there one time, but I. I like this yeah, Arm Park, it was like, I didn't see, well, it seemed like it had a decent amount of business because it was like a lot of dog poop there, uh, but it's on like a, a fairly steep hill, uh, um, and so, it, and it's kind of a little bit rocky, like it has a good amount of grass, but it was kind of rocky and, and more steep than most dog parks are, oh, um, and it, it just seemed like it wasn't used as much as a dog park, it was more of like there, because it's next to a trail, I think, uh, so there's people that were there on the to go on the trail, but they weren't, um, there weren't any other people or dogs in the park, so... Um, that's why we came here. Pixie, quit begging for treats. Is that what you're asking for? I'm sorry. I read the rules. That's right. You, you don't, yeah, that and you don't, well, that and you don't want to reward when they, oh. when they're asking for it, you don't want to reward oh, that because then they're like, true. they're training you yeah. and they're the boss. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we don't want you begging at the dinner table. Huh? <laughs> Ready, here? favorite game is <laughs> right yeah so their dog is labrador retrievers they're meant to retrieve things so yeah he's really good at it yeah my cousin has one hers is full on like her husband my cousin's husband trained it for to be an actual bird dog he hunts ducks and stuff so she's fully trained she'll come and like run between your legs when you're when she comes back to you when she comes back to retrieve something you know oh, she'll okay. after retrieving something, something they do? that too but i always thought it was just a fun thing that we do yeah i mean i'm sure you could train a lot of dogs to do it but i think that's just part of their like training and I'm, maybe it's generational where they've been trained to do that a lot okay. so they, i don't know how that works exactly or not oh i know you you're lula oh that one's lula too there was a lula a little tiny mini uh australian shepherd or something earlier here that was also called lulu Or that's Lulu. I think that one was Lulu. Oh, Lulu. Yeah. Oh, 
Luna. Similar, but... <laughs> Uh, Luna with an oh, Luna. Okay, that makes more sense. The other one was Lulu, so I guess they're not that similar. Um, this, this one dog, what's it called? Um, oh, shoot. It starts with a C. Uh, it'll come to me, but anyway, it was just so cute. A corgi. Oh, okay. Um, and it was just so cute how it ran. It was like a little bunny. <laughs> yeah, they are cute dogs. There's a Pomer Pomeranian here a little bit a while, a little while ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh -oh, well, that one is playing back. I don't think it's a problem. They're not bullying. I think okay. that's just dominance play. So they'll take turns. And see how she's going. I mean, she's interested in my dogs. So my dog's intact. But if they go back and ask for more of it, it's kind of like if a little brother picks on a big brother, even though they might get you know rough with them, they're kind of like uh, okay. asking for it. It's just dominance. They go back and forth. Oh, uh, okay. Like if they do the head over the neck, they'll put their if they put their head over another dog's neck, that shows dominance. Um, or if they lay down in front of the other dog, that's submission. Uh, There's just okay. different behaviors like that. They'll go back and forth on. See how even though this one was chasing. That one before, and they well, actually, it was chasing the other one, but anyway, they go back and forth <laughs> with the dominance, it's just part of their play style. If their hackles go up on their back of their uh, on their back, you know, the hair along their spine, um, that's excitement, which can be aggression, but not always. So, and obviously, like you know, growling as opposed to barking can be more of a like, a, like leave me alone kind of thing, <laughs> but just barking is this part can be just you know them talking to each other and stuff. I talked to my brother about like, uh, um, he had a yellow, he has a yellow lab and it's actually the father of this one. Um, but he never took him to a dog park. Oh, didn't socialize him at all? Um, not really. Uh, which I wonder is why he like whines a lot and really pulls on the leash when he sees other dogs. But, oh. Um, anyway, uh, my brother was just kind of more concerned about like his safety around other dogs. But, yeah, I don't know. yeah and, and I mean there there can be I've I've heard you know there's things on YouTube you know about dog parks like some people don't recommend it at all just because you never know when there's just that one dog that shouldn't be there, oh, yeah. um, or just two dogs in particular just because of whatever chemistry or whatever they just don't want, they want to fight so there it, it's an unknown variable you know but uh, I mean. I, I just go check out parks, and if there's a situation that I think might progress and get worse, then you can just leave, you know. Or obviously, if you like, were really worried about it or want to be more cautious, you could just kind of before you come in, look inside, see how the dog's interacting, yeah. see if there's a certain dog that's more aggressive than the others, or kind of bullying other dogs, and then make a choice on what you want to do from there, you know. Yeah, that's like what he recommended is kind of stay near him while he's meeting the other dogs. Yeah. And mine will do that. She loves playing, but sometimes if she gets too much, she'll come up and just post up on me, like put her, put her either sit on my foot or put her like right up against my shins. Okay. That's really good. Let her, let you know if she's yeah, I'm just I'm sure safe her. place, so she knows she can come to me. Mm -hmm. And I've moved dogs like she never got into like a fight with a dog, but I've definitely moved some dogs off if they're being too much for her. Oh, okay. And like earlier today, there was one that they were just doing the dominance play, which I was fine with. It was a uh, Newfoundland and uh, Great Pyrenees mix. So it was like a 120 pound dog, from what the owner said. Okay. Um, but th well, then once he started trying to hump her, then I was like, that's enough. And then uh, the second, a little bit later, he tried to do it again. The owner was like, okay, time to go. <laughs> oh, okay. So he okay. managed his own dog like you should, you know, when they're being <laughs> yeah. too much, so. Yeah. <laughs> so this place stay consistently busy with all the condos around here, I'm guessing? Um, every time we've come, there's been at least three or four other dogs. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, and Luna, I've met her several times. Bruce! Okay. Hey. Pixie, come! Pixie. Good girl. Something we're working on is come. Yeah, I need to work on it too. I bought a 
fancy leash that's like made out of some kind of rubber or something and it's really long so i can do that but i haven't uh they got it got delayed on shipping by like a month or something but uh i got it like over a month ago but i've recently moved and all that so just haven't been making it a priority but i've heard that's a lot we'll go way to do it you can get them on a really long lead like 20 foot lead or whatever and then they can only get so far and then you can kind of use the leash to kind of reel them in you know and yeah my dog breed is very independent. Have a good day. Good night. Heads up. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of exactly what I was talking about. But they they were good at managing <laughs> their dog, and, yeah. and you put your kept yours away for a minute and let him nice. feed that's himself. Yeah, my and mine's intact. That's why he's all about that. Oh, okay. She's not in heat, but she's not fixed. So. <laughs> oh yeah, just lay in the mud, Pixie. That's great. <laughs> I mean, I got a waterproof uh, like seat cover hammock thing in my car. And I got a towel in the car, but like, I mean, over there it's like a little better. Over here it's just straight mud. It's like, yeah, look at that. Look at that bum. Good thing she's an outside dog, mostly. <laughs> Time for a bath. <laughs> I don't know who you That person right there. Mine just likes the chase. She doesn't actually play fetch. She just follows along with other dogs as they're playing fetch. Oh, that's kind of in her uh, nature though, right? With the shepherds. That's well, they weren't really shepherds in that aspect. They were just livestock guardians. So they were just to keep wolves and bears away. So they didn't really do the herding part of it. Oh. They just kept them safe from wolves and bears. So, But that is, I guess, the prey drive part where they're chasing predators, you know, so. Yeah. Hi, Pixie. You tired? Ready to go? Ready to go, Pixie? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're ready to go. You're just oh, okay. laying in the mud, huh? Yeah, I'm going to take off, but if you want to follow my dog's YouTube channel, you can follow this for five months, by the way. Oh, my gosh. But if you flip awesome. that over, that's a permanent card, so I'll need it back. But if you want to flip it over and scan the QR code. Okay. Do you have cool. your phone on you? Oh, 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 so I can't keep this, but. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I don't have any temporary ones. I just have that one. Yeah. It's the NFC kind where you can tap it to you, just like tap to pay. 
Okay, I don't think, I don't know if I have that. If you just use the way. camera, yeah, your camera, sure. most smartphones will automatically oh, that would be really pick it up. Fun. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, it should have a little thing that pops up once you get it centered a little further away, maybe. Yeah, there you go. I know about something else. It might not be bright enough. Can you turn the light on? Oh, yeah, I do keep it dim. Let me see. Oh, did you get Oh, I got a flashlight here. Oh, oh I got it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Yeah, if you could subscribe, that'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> and what was your name again? Um, I'm Caitlin. Caitlin, yeah, I don't think I got the first time actually. Drew. Drew. Yeah. Nice you too. I live down on Spanish Fork, so I don't know how much often I'll be up here, but okay. I've been just trying to check out different parks for the for the YouTube channel to make it interesting, you know, variety and all that. Yeah. Yeah, my, uh, we're actually um, in Orem, so we kind of oh, commute a little nice. bit. Nice. <laughs> she is so muddy now. <laughs> so you're planning to breed her? Uh, yeah, I probably will. Okay. Either way, it's better for them if you let them uh, wait until they're at full maturity oh, so it doesn't mess with their hormones. Yeah, that's what I do with her. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, if you're going to be around and run, you know, if you're letting them run loose, so they're going to be around a bunch of random dogs and. You know, you, you shouldn't take them to dog parks anywhere, obviously, when they're in heat, but it's it's better to at least to wait till they hit maturity before you fix them. So, all right, Pixie, you ready? I think I got a towel in the car. You said Pixie? Huh. Her name's Pixie. Yeah. Oh, she's like, forget that. She's not ready to go. Pixie, come. One more run. Oh, one more run. She's a big girl. Yeah, she's only a puppy, actually. She's 16 months or 17 months. She's going to grow in height till she's about two, and then she'll fill out until she's about three. Her mom weighs 180 pounds. Wow. She weighs about 95 right now, I think. That's crazy. Yeah. Woo! They were used as like, like guarding dogs to keep wolves and bears away from sheep, so they had to be pretty big dogs to be a deterrent, you know? Yeah. Come. Have a great day, guys. Bye. You too. Bye. Bye.